Okay, guys, I am going to try to do one more movie today that also was done um, before during the uh, holiday weekend, and I didn't fill out, like, any notes for this at all, and I'm going to try to just, like, completely wing it. Um, so, oh, and this is episode 100. Wow, that's crazy. The movie is The Pardon. And, um, it's from 2013. This movie, it's very different from my normal movies. Um, it's an hour and 54 minutes long. Um, it's a drama. Totally different. I never watched dramas. Actually, I wasn't the one that picked it out to watch it. Um, husband was. I recommend watching it on 2B. Or free V. Um, you can also watch it on Plex, P L E X. Google gave it a um, seventy-seven percent, which is extremely well. Uh, known as tragic, um, tense, and poignant. I really wish I had notes on this because this was a very different but good movie. This is based on the true story of Tony. Joe Henry, um, played by Jamie King in the movie, uh, at her murder trial in the 1940s in Louisiana, including her abusive childhood and finding love with another murderer, her husband, who was called Cowboy, and he was played by um, Jason Lewis. And I really don't have anything on this because I didn't do my, like, research or whatever. But, um, this movie has similarities to Bonnie and Clyde. Not so, not, it's not nearly, like, as much violence like that. But there's references made to it. And there is similarities. I mean, the time period and the way they looked and everything. Um... The actress that played her was, uh, they had her done up very pretty. I think she's, like, um, I believe blonde hair in real life. And in the movie, she has black hair. And in the movie, just known to be very pretty, which she is. And it actually plays a role in the movie. So, she has just an awful life growing up. Absolutely awful. Um, you know horrible abuse, horrible parents being, like, sold, all that. And so that's how she continues her life. That's all she knows. That's how she survives. She meets Cowboy. And, um, I don't even, I don't know what his name in real life is. I mean, I gave you the actor's name, and he just always goes by Cowboy. And I don't understand this, but he was, he was wanted for murder, and I believe it was Texas, and they were in, I think I said Louisiana. So I don't know why they, like, I know why they went there. It was for, I believe, um, like, he had, like, a boxing, boxing or wrestling match, because, like, that's what he did. But I don't know why you would go there knowing that you have these charges. So he went there, got caught, and got put in jail for his previous um, murder, murder trial. So, she meets up with this guy. Um, I think it's, like, his friend or something. I, I don't really know. But they decide that, you know, they'll go to rob a bank. And I don't know how things were in the 40s. I mean, I was, like, so not alive back then. But they decide they're going to rob a bank and get money so that they could help out Cowboy. And this is all true. Like, true events. And, uh, so, this part is horrible. They are hitchhiking. She is hitchhiking. And then they say, um, surprise, can I bring my brother with me? And this poor, innocent guy, um, gives them a ride. And now this is, uh, a spoiler. Spoiler alerts. I don't, because I'm going more into it. And so, he gives them a ride, and they end up, making him get out of the car 
get rid of his clothing and go back behind like these like bushes things and so they're stealing his car oh they put him in the trunk they slam the trunk and it literally like cuts like his fingers like pretty much off and so he's got no clothes his hands are cut up they take him back to like this little like not wooded area but like a field that's like covered by something and they shoot him they both had guns uh one was loaded one wasn't the movie goes back and forth of who was the one that actually shot him i mean it really looked like it was the guy that shot him and that she was just there and didn't expect all this she thought she was just gonna get the ride to the bank and then get out the bank and either way it, it's terrible like she was doing wrong things which like i said she had a rough life and maybe she wasn't really gonna do anything that wrong maybe it was just like she was gonna take the money and go and yes that's horrible i don't agree with it however in the 1940s and when you went through all that i mean i can't even imagine and this, and I watch how they treated girls back then, and, like, just terrible. Like, everything was based on her looks. Like, if it wasn't for her looks, she would have even less. Like, it just, uh, it's a rough one. So, extremely, extremely interesting to watch and to see. And she was the first supposedly woman that was executed in the United States. Um, like I said, in 1942, I believe, in Louisiana. Uh, after her first court, uh, they appealed, and but then she lost again. She didn't even get regular lawyers. She was a t um, assigned to tax uh lawyers so that was interesting too but the whole thing you could tell was um not like today and she wasn't given a fair trial um i mean i do agree that she should have been you know in jail and everything like that my thing is did she deserve to be um killed executed if she wasn't even the one that pulled the trigger and that in the one uh, version of the movie part, they show her, you know, completely against it. So if she was really there. All right. That's bad. That's wrong. You shouldn't have been there. But if she was really there and he was the one that pulled the trigger and she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like, all right, you can give her jail time, but you don't, I don't think, felt, feel she deserved the death penalty over that. Uh, but I get it. It was 1940. Things were different. But it was very odd because her whole cell and everything was completely different from what you'd be used to. She basically had, like, her own little room there. She had, like, one cell where she would do, like, where you could, like, sit and, you know, you had a desk and everything. And then she had the other cell with her bed and... Um, just, you know, she had curtains for the windows and then there was another little area for her lawyers to sit and everyone like loved her and loved her beauty. And then they come for her and they shave her head. And that's why I said the beauty was such an important thing because she was like, that was all I had left was my beauty. And they come and they shave her head and she's just, you know, crying hysterically and, and they take her out and everyone's upset and everything and they execute her um, by electrocution. They show, like, putting over, like, that mask thing that covers her whole face and everything. Very, very sad, hard movie to watch and it is, as I said before, based on true events. I don't have anything written down, obviously, so we'll just give this a shot, but dog and cat, I'm gonna say no. Bug, I'm gonna say no. Um, drugs, uh, yes, actually, she had a drug, um, bad drug habit, and Cowboy was the one that got her off the drugs, and they showed her going through the withdrug of getting off of it i believe it was like a her heroin um 
excessive gore was, uh, no. Um, I really don't know, even have a list, but, uh, violence and death is yes. Um, clowns, no. Vomit, no, I don't believe so. Blood, I don't even remember if they showed blood or not. That's, um, come back to that, I guess. Gross scenes, no. Um, uh, hospital scenes in mental institutions, no, I don't think so. Suicide, no. Shaky cam, no. Abortion, no. Rape, I guess, was an in between. They didn't show rape, but, um, I don't know. Uh, they didn't show, like, sexual content in, like, an explicit way, um, or nudity. But, like I said, I don't have notes on a lot of this stuff. So, the end result was, uh, they did kill, they did execute her, and then eventually they did execute the guy that was also with her. Cowboy, who was in there for Jill originally, got out, um... Sometime after that, he got one phone call from her before they executed her. And he did get out, and, um, after he got out, um, which is weird, because he was, like, life sentence or whatever, but he did get out. And when he got out, he was then murdered. I don't know. I didn't look up really anything about him, but he was, um, eventually out and pretty much murdered right after he got out, um, which was all in a short period. Um, let's see. What do I give the movie? The movie was excellent, but I'm going to give it a three. It was extremely sad, and it's not something you want to watch over and over again, but it was also a good history lesson. So I definitely recommend watching it. Um, I was pretty much the whole thing. You could probably Google and learn a lot more about it. And I was going to do that before this video, but I decided just to do the video because... I have a busy week in testing tomorrow, so we get to fast tonight. Yay. All right. So anyway, um, check the movie out. Um, again, very, very sad movie and uh, three stars.